this is Clay, Clay Nelson Life Balance, and we're talking about acknowledging your accomplishments, and then we're going to talk about making your New Year commitments. Ah, okay. Uh-oh. Resolutions? Uh-oh. Yep, yep. Uh-oh. Keep the radio on. Okay, ah, don't turn it off. Now, uh, before the break, we were talking about, you know, how we spend so much time beating ourselves up for what we didn't get done, and we don't really take the time to generate a list or to write down uh, in some way, shape, or form what we have gotten done so we can really see our value. We can really see all the different things we've done because human beings, for some reason, all the things you complete, it's just like, yeah, I did it next. But it's never quite enough, okay? And you just dwell on the things you didn't get done. So um, I gave you some examples uh, of what you would want to write down on your list, you know, like developing an exercise program, uh, helping out senior citizens, growing a garden, the trips you've taken, the weight you've lost, the fun you had. How about the credit cards you paid off? All right, how about that? Or how about putting a financial plan together? It's pretty cool. Get it? Pretty cool, all right? Or that you went back to school, or you mentored a young person, or you coached a t-ball team, or whatever it is you did. Even if you just did it once, even if you stepped out there and actually looked at it and then decided not to, you still stepped out there and looked at it. You had to stop your world and step out there and look at something. Give yourself credit for that. Okay, so why make a list of what you've done, all right? To acknowledge your successes, right? To absolutely acknowledge your successes. People focus, like I said, on, on what we didn't get done instead of what we did get done. So that's got to change, ladies and gentlemen. Why? Because we're worth it. That's why. All right? So how do you create a picture and a plan for success? Um, well, first you have to write down what you want. Remember before the break I said to you, you know, half the battle is deciding what it is that you do want. The other half of the battle is putting the plan together for getting it. And that's what I said. Specific, measurable results by win. SMRs by win. So you write out, I want to have X, whatever it is. Okay? Like, I want to have my own TV pilot. Okay? I also want to have an agent, which I got, by the way, since I've been talking on this show. Um, I want to have my CDs go worldwide. I want to have, there's all kinds of things I want to have. Um, I want to keep my physical fitness in shape at 63. Uh, I want to speak at more uh, speaking endeavors, make a bigger difference. I want to make a difference for 1,000 people a day. A day. Okay? Wow. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it. You watch. Now, Zig Ziglar, here's a quote for you. Zig Ziglar said, you cannot consistently perform in a manner which is inconsistent. Uh, with the way that you see yourself. So you have to like you to have things work for you, all right? You have to like you to have things work for you. Now, how do you get to like you? You got to know what you did that was good. Or how about this? You got to know what you did that you learned that wasn't, you know, good, and so you didn't do it anymore. Now, I want you to right now, this minute, unless you're driving, of course, I want you to start making a list of some of the things that you got finished from last January to this coming January. Now, just go ahead. Just listen to me, but just start writing down some of the things you've done, some of the niceties that you performed for yourself, or some of the differences that you made, or some of the things that you completed, or some of the bad habits you stopped. What about that? Okay, think about that. So it's all about getting to a place where you actually can have your life work out of being happy about who you are in it. I mean, da 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 music, please. Who you are in it, yay. Liking yourself, what a concept. OK, it's not like just Christmas or birthday or, you know, that kind of thing. It's about really being happy with yourself every single day. OK, half a day. <laughs> I don't want to stress you out too much. OK, so how do you create a picture and a plan for success? Now think about this. The way you do that is you have to set some time aside and actually plan for getting what you say you want. Now, many of you are going to be making this list, and you're going to say, oh, well, I didn't do too much. It's not about how much you did. It's about what you finished. I don't care if you set out and finished one thing. Give yourself credit for it. You know there are some people on the planet that don't ever finish anything? Their life is so full of turmoil, they never get anything done. They call that happy, by the way. And I'm just going, I don't think so. So it's all about getting to a place where you can actually say, I did this. And by the way, I did it, and I'm done with it. Don't have to do it again. Or how about this one? I did it, I liked it, and I want more of it. What do you think about that? You know, making a difference for yourself is okay. It's not against the law. Okay, You really can take care of yourself first. And think about this. What happened? What do you think it would be like if everybody on the planet got happy with themselves? What do you think would happen to the planet? Whoa. 
Whoa. That's, that's hard to even think about, deep. isn't it? Yeah, it's hard but to think uh, about that. What happened if, it, you know, if people treated other people like nature treats itself? You know, nature always protects itself, always takes care of itself, always regenerates itself, and always takes care of all the different levels of itself inside of itself. What do you think it would be like if people did that? You know, we talk about it, but we got to start doing it. we got to start being it, all right? So what's the one thing you have to get over when you do something and you want more of it? You know, most of the time, most of us think, well, it's just a fluke. It's not really true. Don't think I can have it. And uh, it was an accident. And the truth is, we got to start believing ourselves to such a level that we can do anything we want, anytime we want, as much as we want, okay? As long as it makes a difference for ourselves, doesn't hurt anybody else, or it makes a difference for another and doesn't use us up. Think about that, okay? It's called having it all, all right? Now, do we have some emails over there? Yep, we certainly do, Clay. We have got a great one here from uh, uh, Chad who says, I've always been taught not to dwell on the past. Yeah. So where is the line between dwelling on the past and appreciating what you've accomplished in the past? Oh, that's very simple. When, when, you, when you write, when you make the list of all the things that you've accomplished in the year or in the past, that's the best way to say, okay, that's done next. It's not about dwelling on it. It's not about sitting in it. I mean, unless it feels really good, you really want to do it. <laughs> you know? But the best way to get complete with the past is write down the past. The best way to get complete with whatever's going through your head, you know, dwelling means you're in your mind sitting in it mentally, okay? The best way to get out of your mind is to write down what your mind is thinking about so that your mind, instead of storing the past, instead of storing data, it can create a future. Okay? Oh, that's nice. I like that thought. Yeah, it works really good. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Okay, Michael, here's another quote. Michael Corda, in order to succeed, we must first believe that we can. It's a big one. See, so one of the, see, a sneaky little silent reason for getting you to write down everything that you've done this year is I want you to understand how incredibly good, powerful, honest, and great you are. You do some great things, but you just assume it, and you think everybody else does everything just like you do. They don't talk about it either. Wrong. You need to write it down so you can give yourself acknowledgement for what you did get done, give yourself reason for being for where your feet are, and get straight with yourself that you do have value, not just work, 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 working all the time. Okay? Think about that. It's not about work, 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 work. Okay? Uh, let me see now. I've got one more. I've got a, a quote I want to read, and it's from Mr. Anonymous. Okay? Mm -hmm. Mr. Anonymous. I'm Man, not sure. He, he has so many famous he, quotes. Oh, he does. He's everywhere, isn't it? Many people look forward to the new year for a new start on old habits. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> So what if we could keep the habits that work and give up the habits that don't? That's called having a say in how your life turns out. You know, and another thing I want to say real quick, most people, the biggest thing they, they want to do in the new year is to um, get healthier. And what if you could just get happier? Health comes after that. You know, health doesn't necessarily, good health doesn't necessarily make happy people. All right, happy people are usually healthy. It's pretty cool. Think about it. My Jaren's sitting here going, wait a minute, no. You sure you want to see? I don't know if I'd buy that or not. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to put it together, the yeah. happy people. And yeah, yeah wow. Yeah. You know, it's like somebody that's beating themselves up for being overweight can't lose weight because they're all about beating themselves up. You yeah, know, it's not productive. Happy, overweight people can choose to lose weight. That's the way it works. All right? Okay, i got to go on a break now. This You're listening to Clay Nelson, Clay Nelson Life Balance Hour and KZSB AM 1290. When you get back, we're going to talk a lot about how to create a picture and a plan for success and, and how do you get involved in making the list and why you should. You know, wouldn't it be cool to have a say in how your life turns out and what about your future? I mean, we got duh. lots more quotes and emails, too. Quotes and emails. And we, oh, we got a telephone call coming in, too. Okay, get on back here. I can't laugh. 